We enter Matia Valley as they hold their annual Pink Out for Breast Cancer Awareness, facing off against Negro Valley. The Wildcats come off a loss to Naperville Central earlier in the week. And the Wildcats start off strong thanks to two aces early in the game, thanks to Taylor O'Malley. Cats grab hold of the lead early on. Little later in the Cats show that they have power on the court as well as behind the service line. Ellie Knapsack sets up Riley Ammenhauser for the kill that Mattia cannot handle. Cats remain in the lead. But here come the Mustangs and they have service power too. Morgan Rank gets an ace behind the line to put Mattia back in it. A few points later, Aniqua looks for the point as Faith Johnson goes for the attempt. It's dug out and then Mattia gives Cora Andres the nod and she doesn't disappoint as she gets the point. Fun point a little later, after Mattia goes for the attempt and O'Malley makes the great dig, Niqua is forced to send a free ball over. Kira Janish at the net hits between the blocks for the Mustangs to take the lead. Mattia continues their offensive attacks as Dragon Homer sets up Emily Day for the kill and the Mustangs keep rolling through the first set. The back and forth battle of set one comes to an end as Andres gets up for another kill to take the first set 25-23. There seem to be a lot of fire serves happening tonight as Kira Janish gets one from Mattia as the Mustangs take the lead in the second set. But then Nigua fights back with a 1-2-3 as Leo Thompson gets the quick set for the Wildcat point. Longer rally in the second that shows off both teams' strengths. Cora Andres gets the tip over for Mattia, and the Wildcats then have O'Malley go for the attempt, but it's dug out. Things then get interesting at the net when Mattia throws up the block, but Nico's defense is ready for it. Then Faith Johnson ends the craziness with the monster kill as Nico takes the second set 25-22. To the third set, Iniqua starts off strong as Knapsack sets up Ammenhauser for another one of her powerful kills for the Cats to grab the lead early. Knapsack gets another assist as she shoots one over to O'Malley for the putdown as Niqua remains in the lead. But don't count out Mattia. Emily Day with a slam that tips off the block to keep the Mustangs close. Neek with throwing block party after block party on this next point. Make sure you bring your sunscreen because Lauren Hosehalder and Leo Thompson gets the triple block at the net, getting everyone pumped up. Napchuck sets up Johnson this time for the kill and the Cats can taste the Valley rivalry win. And that's exactly what happens. Snapchat sets up Ammenhauser, but she gets blocked. No worries though, O'Malley on the next attempt and she finds floor as Nico takes the tough three set victory over Mattia Valley, 23-25, 25-22, 25-19. Um, we want to win as many as four more games in conference this year and just do good as a team. That's really our main goal this year. Um, I think we definitely started off really slow, um, but the end of the second set and then definitely the third set, we picked it up, found their weaknesses, did what we did in practice and really pulled through. I think I did pretty good. I mean, we all worked really well together and we, we pulled together a lot, like really well today, more than usual. We figured out like what we needed to do in order to play good against other teams and I think we just messed really well together tonight. Yes, we definitely want to get as many wins as possible, hopefully finish first in the DVC and then have a good, really good playoff season.